Hi, my name is Oleg Trojanovsky, I'm a composer and I'm in the winner's list of Westworld scoring competition. Very happy, thank you HBO, thank you Westworld, thank you Spitfire. So I was asked to do a session breakdown of my score for this scene. Uh, here it is, and if you have some more questions, please uh, write in the comments, I will answer. I have to say that some parts here I've made in my other studio because right now I'm in my countryside sort of house, you know, in the middle of nowhere because of the coronavirus. So the the beginning, I have it in uh, wave here, unfortunately. But the, all the orchestral parts are in MIDI, so we'll be able to see it. So uh, in general, like when I saw this in the first time, I understood that there is something has to has to be uh, unusual and different because the presence of uh, Wagner in the original soundtrack. So it seems to me like it's maybe it's something like a parody or, or a comedy because obviously it was making reference to uh, Apocalypse Now. And later I understand that this is that the hero is under a drug and the effect of this drug is that it makes him hallucinate like he perceives the world through uh, sort of a filter of or um, a style of a of a movie from 20th century so the music has to communicate what's going on in his hallucinating head until this moment when 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 he's uh, uh, switching genres, uh, the soundtrack is is a normal soundtrack. The music does not communicate what happens in his head. The music communicates what happens in general. Until here, it was some basic straight, um, synths that I usually use my own synthesizers and and some synths from from Logic, and also there was a sound of a violin that I from my own samples because I I try to use my own samples as much as possible. So the, just the, the very beginning here, this is the sound of this violin, and. Uh, yeah, but pretty much, pretty much here it's in, and then there's some drums. I mean, it's just building tension. So here, music is uh, showing that he's hallucinating. The hallucination starts to take over. So you see, there is the tune of the future waltz. Well, now again, it's back to normal soundtrack. Another possibility would be just to keep going with symphonic, with switched genre here. Since percussion, and so now we're going back to this waltz on G, it was like G minor, and here's G major. G major that transforms as, as a dominant to C major. Here is the waltz. So yes, I, I made it a kind of. Uh, there is some irony here. It's 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 a little bit. It's not serious because it's his hallucination. He's. This is how he perceived it 
through a filter or through a style of some, in my case, a non-existent movie from 20th century because we were not allowed to use existing music, to quote existing music. And so, yeah, so here's this waltz. and without woodwinds. And a kind of second voice with brass. An important thing is this also. Like as you can see, also in this uh, approach, it means that, I mean, in my approach, it means that on the one hand, music sounds like it's a music from another movie, like it's not uh, uh, an appropriate mu music from the scene. On the other hand, it should fit the rhythm and the tempo of the scene in general, of what's going on. So... Uh, when uh, the cars are going straight, we have this waltz, then we have this later this confusion with cars, they're messing up, they're making a U-turn. Also there's some confusion and changing in music, in the rhythm of the music and also the modulation to another tonality to from C major to that song. Here I think it starts to work like, you know, in his hallucination he's perceiving it as a firework or something, all those shootings and so on. This is my own sample too. writing for a harp it should not be looking like this <laughs> but uh, as, as you can see maybe uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, quantizing so here uh, now when where he destroyed this car to him as I understand it starts to be more serious like he started taking it all seriously while keep hallucinating and keep being under the drug uh, and so the music is not ironic anymore but it's still this kind of symphonic music from let's say some other film but i mean it should be fitting the dynamic and the tempo of the scenes Yes, and so here it's like more, there's no this little comic sort of thing, but uh, also the waltz was obviously free for, and then this, uh, another theme, which we're, by the way, back in G minor, after being in uh, F sharp major, uh, to, to the main tonality of the scene, 
Uh, so when we're, <clears throat> th th this is again in 4-4, in, in, uh, four, four, but to make it somehow, you know, connected to the walls, it, we, I use uh, triols here. And uh, so it's 4-4, four, four, but with triols. It's a kind of a, you know, a little bit having this 3-4 inside. And then when we come here with this chords, then it's uh, start to be sometimes four, three, four, and sometimes four, four again. So the walls is trying, sort of coming back. theme from the walls, the motif. And then I wanted, at the first place, I wanted to end like this. So... I didn't because I understood that this moment here on the video when this you know he's looking like this it means that he's switching genres again and in, in the original series he will be switching to movie uh, love story uh, which also will have <laughs> an obvious comic effect in in the in the, uh, the series but for me it was important just to show that the hallucination is over the episode that was given to score is over. And so we're back to this synthesizer uh, theme that was that we heard in the beginning. Mm -hmm. 